Hey guys, it's Selena Gomez. I am super excited to show you how I got this look today and we get to use my new Stay Vulnerable collection. I started with washing my face and using moisturizer. So basically all I have on right now are some lashes. I'm individuals and I'm getting ready to do my face. So I'm gonna start with my primer, which everyone knows is one of my favorite things, especially for a glowy look. I'm gonna use my hands with this. You can already tell too when I'm applying it how it already just melts into your skin. Next, I'm going to use the Liquid Touch Foundation. My color right now is 180. I kind of go through this dot application that I do. And there's so much formula in it that it's pretty, pretty easy to spread around. I'm gonna use my brush. Obviously you can do a heavier foundation look if you'd like. Every time I use the foundation, it just starts to feel more and more like my skin. And I feel like when I put it on lightly, I don't feel like it's too far off from my skin because it kind of looks like I'm not wearing any makeup right now. Next is the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. And with this applicator, it's really, really easy to kind of get into the corner of your eye. I definitely love concealer. Sometimes I can just use concealer depending on how my skin is. Again, I like to do everything pretty delicate. So when I put my concealer on, I definitely do the motion that's very soft and, and circular motion. After I apply my makeup, I always do another layer of concealer. And a pimple, whatever. <laughs> Now you can see that it's super glowy. My skin looks really fresh. Um, you kind of can't tell that there's really any makeup um, and it feels really good. That means I'm now going to move on to the Always Optimus 4-in-1 Setting Mist. It's always my favorite. Give it a little shape, about eight inches away. Next, I'm going to use the Positive Light Luminizer, and that will be an enchant. I love all my luminizers. It goes well with different skin tones as well. This one happens to be one of my favorites. I can use some of the highlighter for the tip of my nose and right above my lip, but I don't like kind of focus on that area. I keep more the luminizer up into the higher cheekbones. This is my Blot and Glow touch-up kit. So this palette also comes with some excess oil papers if you need to tap. I don't think I'm gonna do that right now. I'm going for more of a glowy look. I'm gonna apply the powder under my eyes and then the sponge. Put on my nose, my forehead. So as you can tell, I just kind of went into my T-zone, kind of put the powder there, a little around my nose. Now I'm going to use my liquid um, eyeshadow and the color is Nearly Neutral. They're very tiny and really, really cute on the go. So the applicator, again, similar to the concealer, has this sort of edge feeling. Um, and I'm gonna go in more towards the bottom of my lashes. Cause then from there, I can move the product around. It definitely is high pigmented. As you can see, just barely without doing anything, you can see the color around my eye. And it's such a beautiful color, very natural, um, especially when I move it around. And along with that, I'm going to be using the Stay Vulnerable All Over Eyeshadow Brush. It kind of looks like a finger, <laughs> you know? It has a little bit of a slant. I'm gonna go in with the shadow and move it around. The shadow definitely wears all day. It's very, as you can tell, it has got a lot of pigment. And we've created the eyeshadow um, so that it wouldn't have the crease effect that most shadows do. This is our number one selling product and it is the Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Eyeliner. I was very, very happy and honored and excited when we got the news. So naturally I'm going to be applying it. Give it a few shakes, make sure you have all of that 
pigment and the color that you want. And start right here, and then I connect it all. Again, you go into that lash area and make sure that it's all covered. Now I'm gonna do the next eye. Now I have my eyeliner on. We are moving on to my brows. <laughs> this is the Brow Harmony Pencil and Gel. Now this one's in Cool Brown, which is the color I use. It's kind of, I feel like for me, if I want to do dark, I'll go dark, but if I'm going natural, I'll use the Cool Brown. How I use it, kind of get the gel a little bit off. I like to start with brushing my brows. I remove tons of the product because then I use it at the end and then I can use it. So after I've done that, I'll go in and kind of dust around the area of my brow. I want to make sure I get it all in so I usually start on the outside. So there's one eyebrow, super easy. I'm going to do the next one now. So here is one of the newer products. Um, it is called the Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush and it is in Nearly Neutral. I call it a little pebble because it's so cute and you can fit anywhere. Um, but what I'm using is the Nearly Neutral color. I like to use my hands for this one, but people, you can use the brush. You can use my brush that you like or whatever one. And I'm gonna go tap it in. I'm gonna do a little bit on the apple. I would describe it as kind of a mousse. I feel like this is different from our liquid blushes um, in the sense of it's not as prominent and it's kind of more of that feeling that you wanna use your hands with. I use the liquid one when I feel very bright and I want more color, but since we're doing a natural look today, this is kind of the color I want. It looks a little like sun-kissed. The finish is natural matte um, and I think I, I love that because everything else on my skin is very glowy. So even when I kind of had some around the luminizer, it doesn't take away that glow, which I love. Next we are going to the Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm, again in Nearly Neutral. Now these are newer and these are so fun and I just think that Every girl wants a good pop of lip gloss every now and then. I've been super into lip glosses right now. This color is also really beautiful. It goes well with my skin tone. It can go well with any skin tone, really, but I love how brown and neutrals look on me. The applicator is also really amazing because we kind of have this hole in the middle, that is what I call it, and it holds more of the gloss so that when you're using it, a lot more comes out as you're applying. The very tip is easy for me to go and do a kind of liner effect. That's just with two dips already. The lip gloss doesn't feel like a traditional lip gloss. Sometimes it can be really sticky and we stayed away from that. So the color and the texture is very smooth and it kind of is easy to apply anywhere, anytime without a mirror unless you're driving. Don't do anything while you're driving. So I feel like this kind of completes a look for me. The lips feel really great. I still kind of have this area where my pimple is. To be honest, I'm not gonna cover it up. I think that the look I have right now is nice and it'll last me all day. I'm really happy with how everything turned out and I'm excited for everyone to try it as well. This look has been one of my favorites and I'm excited that you can use it and share it and show me all the looks that you do, which have been amazing, by the way. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Show me your rare beauty routines and you can tag at rare beauty. I'll see you next time.